a warm welcome to 2023 year this is 1st of january and uh, we are enjoying a beautiful world ahead a beautiful life ahead now this life which is going to be live and it's going to be live only when we follow today's direction of god we feel live alive and lively on this present vardhan's basis now it is very crucial for us to understand this it is my own practice i am working towards it i hope it becomes your practice too because this is the only way only method to remain happy and content throughout the year and throughout your life so let's understand this biggest secret in this world which god is going to reveal to us on the 1st of january the first day of the new year so god says in today's blessing in his own words may you be ignorant of any knowledge of desire one is having desire second is having the knowledge of having desire that means i have a desire of buying something that is a desire but i don't know i don't know what does it feel like to have a desire to buy something it's the second stage a higher stage imagine reaching that stage where you are not having the knowledge of i want this i want that imagine a small child a child might have very small desires of playing around right doesn't have bigger desires imagine that same child is you but your desires have become so big and my desires if they become so big that some way or the other we feel discontented some way or the other we feel irritated frustrated we feel jealous sometimes we feel stressed out to reach those desires then what happens happiness goes away contentment is not there so that's why god says where there is contentment there are all the virtues and all the powers that means when you are content with yourself nobody can tell you oh look at you by this age my son was like this or my brother was like this and they were earning this much and they had so much of property and they had all these things they had a child and what about you you have not yet even started in your life imagine somebody telling you that but if you are aligned with the supreme creator but if you are aligned with his work in this world if you are aligned with the secrets of what he wants to do to this world then all those comments are never going to make you discontented but for that you need to know the secret what is god's plan and what is man's plan man's plan is going to be disposed of by god's plan very soon it is already being so god then says where there is contentment there are all the virtues you will never get irritated you will never have jealousy you will never get frustrated if things don't go your way you will never complain you will never blame so what will you have you will have the opposite of all this that means you will be content you will be able to help others out to reach their goals you will be very jealous free you will be very content you will rather be happy to help somebody move ahead of you instead of jealousy is totally opposite helping somebody out to move ahead of you instead of becoming jealous so that is the virtue which you will have if you are content now ahead god says and you'll have all the powers powers means you'll be able to tolerate other people's comments you'll be able to discern but a, a person who's full of desires who's full of uh, let's say a lot of wants can be easily be fooled by somebody who's greedy think about it very deeply you can only be put into the wrong place if you are working on greed because if you are vibrating greed then you'll find greedy people around you would take away things from you so then god says because you have made the creator belong to you you are content because you have made the creator belong to you that means somebody who has the whole creator of the whole world drama what does that soul need does that soul need anything else in this world when you belong to the creator the whole world belongs to you it's a very big statement to say but yes it has a very profound meaning it means that when you are in alignment with the creator then the laws which you are following of the creator will make sure 
that right now whatsoever you think has been taken away from you is going to be yours forever forever so are you looking at right now or are you looking at the future which god has planned for you now what is that future is you can find out when you do the seven day course what is god's plan and what is man's plan because man's plan or human plan is going to be disposed of very soon because of the ego of science and technology human beings are thinking that they're going to conquer other planets but that's not god's plan so god then says having found the father you have found everything father means the creator now father means the father of knowledge the father of divinity father of the secrets of how the world works god then says even if you put all your desires together worldly desires futuristic desires if you put them together in a box let's say you have received multi million fold more than those how can you compare divine wisdom with your physical desires can you i can't so god says compared to this desires are like a lamp Our uh, own physical, personal desires are like a lamp in front of the sun. Imagine the comparison; it's just like a small lamp. So, if you have desires, think about you wanting to be connected with God as that desire. Now, if you want to be connected to God, the sun, not the physical sun, is just a metaphor. It's just a comparison. If you want to be connected to the sun as compared to the lamp, whom will you be wanting to be connected to? From where will you? extract the warmth from that lamp or from the sun not literally so god says compared to this desires are like a lamp in front of the sun let alone the question of any desires arising you cannot even have a question about anything like a desire when we receive god's love and we receive god's plan we have all the desires which god wants us to have in order to turn this hell kaliyug means hell into heaven that is the only desire which we have and when we have godly desires then automatically other desires which are there around us are automatically filled up that's the secret so god then says you are full of all attainments and this is why you are ignorant of any knowledge of desire attainments are what not physical attainments we are talking about spiritual attainments you are talking about the love the happiness the bliss the power the divine knowledge when we have that divine knowledge when we have the wisdom then you would not have any other desires in your life because you'll use the wisdom not to get those things but you'll use the wisdom to feel peaceful and lovely within you and automatically when you are peaceful and lovely all the other things fall in place that's the secret god then says this is why you are ignorant of any knowledge of desire and a constant jewel of contentment Imagine it. Who doesn't want to be content? But what's the secret? Is being shared in Brahma Kumaris College Spiritual University. It might be just a few steps away from your house. Do go ahead and learn from there with this Om Shanti.